Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Yah, everybody. Praise Yah another time. Amen and amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, I want to come to you with a very strong word. It's a warning. It's a warning, really, that the Most High Yah has spoken to me through his beautiful Holy Spirit. Um, on the round about the 27th or so, as I was getting ready to go to bed, brothers and sisters, I heard the beautiful voice of the Holy Spirit spoke to me. And brothers and sisters, believe me, I absolutely broke down into tears. And I begin to say to the Lord, Father, I feel, this is just me. I said, Lord, I feel like I'm not doing enough. Like there's more that I'm supposed to do. But the Lord began to speak to me, brothers and sisters. And he said to me, tell my people. He said, warn my people that they will be rounded up and thrown into Fifi. Now, you might say, what is a carry and what is Fifi? Now, for the purpose of the video, FEMA, I'm going to refer to it as Fifi. All right? So, I won't be saying FEMA. So, I'm going to refer to it as Fifi. But the Lord says that, tell my people that they will be rounded up and thrown into Fifi for the beast judgment. Do you hear that, brothers and sisters? The beast. This is what the Holy Ghost said to me. The beast judgment. Brothers and sisters, in the time of the end, and it's not very far off, and what I'm talking to you about is not so much the wicked, you know what, that's going on all over the world. I'm not talking about that, all right? What I'm talking about is the Mott B, a.k.a. the mark of the beast. I call it Mott B for the purpose of this video, all right? This is what the Lord is speaking about. It was very, very clear. He's talking, he's literally talking about the Mott B. And he said that when this thing begins to happen, when this thing begins to roll out, many will be thrown into Fifi. And how are they going to go to Fifi? Number one, voluntarily, because they're not going to know what's going on. And I've done a video where the Lord gave me a prophetic word concerning the wicked alerts that is that will be going out on people's phone, people's devices, telling people to come to Fifi because there's disaster. And Fifi is the only place that can save them and many will go. But equally, brothers and sisters, you're going to have people that know what Fifi is and will not go. And these people, if they're caught, especially in the city, they will be rounded up. <laughs> they will be rounded up and thrown into Fifi against their will for the beast's judgment so there's a judgment that is coming from the antichrist and that is revenge on the church revenge on those who love the biblical the biblical jesus christ of nazareth but i have to put out this warning so that you understand the times and the season that we're in we are not far off and oftentimes, sometimes when I give the prophetic and I'll, and I'll say, you know, if you're in the city, when the Lord tells you to move out of these big, massive cities, you've got to go. If he hasn't told you to move yet and to stay put, then you're okay. But I believe if you don't, if you do not make it into the second exodus, because this message is not for those who have gone in the exodus, because I've talked about the second exodus i've talked about the wilderness i'm not going to go over it but just to make it very very clear those of us who make it make it into the wilderness aka the second exodus aka the woman of revelation 12 that is given two wings to fly into 
the wilderness, this message is not for you because you will miss. You will not be here for the mot be. Yah is going to take you away. You will be high. The 12 scattered tribe and those who love the Lord. So rejoice. Be happy. Okay, so pray to be found worthy to escape these things coming. But if you find that, uh oh, I'm still here. Some people are gone into hiding. We're not really, well, it's, not, well, it's called it hiding, but it's prophecy. Amen. It is biblical prophecy. We had to go. Revelation 12, the woman, and that is what it's all about. The woman is Israel and the church. 12 stars around the head. That is a 12 scattered tribe of Jacob. All right. So you find yourself not in the wilderness. Um, leave. You didn't make it in. This is what you are going to face. And this is why the Lord says, warn them. Warn them that some will be rounded up. Rounded up. This is the word that they say. Rounded up. And thrown into fee fee for the beast judgment. The beast judgment is serve Satan or the guillotine. That is it. When you are in fee, when you're in fee fee. That is a two choice you're going to have. And oftentimes people say, you know, Sister Karen, can we get the mutt be without knowing? Absolutely not. There's absolutely no way under this heaven that you are going to take the mutt be and don't know what it is. And this is the reason why I'm saying to people, you know, people are running up and down all over YouTube. Some of them in the pulpit. Well, some in the pulpit are saying, oh, the you know what that's going on. The scorpion sting. That is the mot be. It is not the mot be. It is very wicked and you should not. You, should, <clears throat> you shouldn't have it by any mean inside of you. All right. Because it's an alteration. Alteration. Um, liquid. That is very wicked to the human body. So you must have it. All right. But it is not the mot be revelation 13 stipulates exactly what's going to happen with the mud be now when the lord said to me warn his people and tell them that they will be rounded up some will be rounded up and thrown into fema and and the thing about and thrown into fifi and the thing about it brothers and sisters let me just um give this prophecy as well I might, should i do another video for it I want to touch on dogs a little bit, but I, I might do another video for, for dogs because in the time of the end when the mutt bee is rolling, some of our, some dogs will be demonic because of the, the mutt bee that's inside of them. So just as all you see them train up to sense well, to sniff drugs and, you know, these police dogs, they know what they're sniffing for, I don't know, all right? But those who are in the police force and the soldier force whatever you know what what the dogs are looking for you know some some of you know what the training are but this training is going to be high tech because of the mud bee that's going to be in these animals and dogs are going to be used in the time of the end to help with the beast system to help round up people to smell for human but I will do a separate video for that, brothers and sisters. So those of you who have dogs, be careful. It's, they don't have the mutt being inside of them. The, 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 the chip that these dogs have now, these, you know, 2021 dogs have, they're okay. They're okay. They're fine. Don't be panicking. Oh, my dog of the mutt being. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You will know. You will know when your doggy gets the mot bee because, yeah, they will turn. All right. So it's, it's not there yet, but it is coming up. All right. But I'll probably do a separate video for that. But watch this, brothers and sisters. Now, Revelation 2 verse 10 is very famous. Watch this. Revelation 2 verse 10. This is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the biblical, the true biblical Christ that is speaking. He says, fear none of these things which thou shall suffer. 
Mm -hmm. So when we are running up and down at this moment in time, this is not even the mud be, but the panic and the fear that is setting because of the you know what. The scorpion sting that's going around in the world and people are just fearing and pan panicking. <clears throat> and the Lord is saying, fear not. None of these things that you shall suffer because it has to happen. If the 12 disciples went through suffering, if Jesus Christ himself, he's the son of the Most High, yeah, and he went through severe suffering for you and I, why do you think that we're going to escape? Why do you think the only people that are going to escape severe, the, well, the might be, like I say, is those who make it into the wilderness. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth says, fear not those things which thou shalt suffer. Watch this, watch this. Behold, <clears throat> The devil. Notice Christ used the word devil. Because why? Why did Jesus use the word devil here? Why didn't Jesus say behold the wicked? He could easily. Right here in scripture. Revelation 12 verse 10. I want you to read it for yourself. And study it. The biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Could easily easily says behold the wicked he didn't say that watch this he said behold the devil why the devil because what because this scripture this passage of scripture that jesus christ is talking about is when the mutt be is in effect that's the reason why i said the devil because at this point satan will be ruling through the antichrist so this is the reason why I'm saying that the you know what, the scorpion bite, it, it's not, it's not the mutt. It's not it. It is leading up to it, but it is, that's, it's not it. It's very wicked and you shouldn't take it. But watch this. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Okay. You look at this word prison and you think, oh yeah, it's our normal prison that the wicked pharaohs of the world are set up. You know, the prison where the drug dealers and the rapists and the killers and the psychopaths and whosoever are at this moment in time. The notorious prison all over the world. And you read the scripture and you're thinking, oh yes, yeah, it's, it's our normal prison. No. What Christ is talking about here when you say prison, this is Fifi. Because Fifi is a prison. Many people don't know it. But in the time of the end when the mutt be is rolling out it's literally a prison brothers and sisters because once you go in there you cannot come out and that's the reason why the lord says warn my people that they will be rounded up round, rounded up and thrown thrown into fifi for the beast judgment this is very serious prophecy that i'm saying extremely serious prophecy that I'm giving brothers and sisters and people have to take heed. Now, when the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth is saying, Behold, the devil shall cast some, mm -hmm, some of you into Fifi. This is not the normal prison that he's talking about right here. This is not your normal everyday prison where you go to the the courts and you tried and if you're guilty you go in prison you spend your time that's not that prison that the biblical christ is talking he's talking about fifi fifi that is what yah is talking about and cast some of you into prison watch this watch this that he may be tried why did you why did you think that the Lord gave me the prophecy to warn that you will be thrown? This was, the Lord gave me the prophecy before he gave me the scripture. I want you to know that. The prophecy came first. He spoke to my heart first, the Holy Spirit, and said, warn them. And then he gave me this scripture. He says, and you will throw thrown into prison that you may be tried. When you're in Fifi, you will be, that is the beast, you will be tried. Because they will come to you. And you will have to make a choice. 
So that is a trying that you're going to go through. You will have to make a choice. Because once you're in Fifi, brothers and sisters, listen to me. Not everybody in Fifi will see the guillotine. Majority will, but, but by the time they begin to, the head begin to go, Jesus Christ will come anyways. So some will, a lot will have their heads by the guillotine, but they're not going to get to go through so many people in the world. Because if that was the case, everybody would die out and nobody would see the coming of Christ. No flesh. No flesh will be alive to see the, the glorious, <laughs> beautiful coming of our Messiah. So we know that's at some point that he's going to come and stop this. He will. All right. But some will see the guillotine for the gospel of Jesus Christ, for standing for their faith. Now, he says that he may be tried. But they're going to try you because now you're underneath the beast system in Fifi. They are ruling. Satan is ruling now. Lawlessness. And this is the reason why I talk about them. We call it um, the religious exemption. If you haven't seen that video, very, very powerful video. Because I know that some people, because the Lord showed me in the spirit, that some people think that they can waver this religious exemption in the time of the end. Oh, I don't, I don't, I cannot take that must be because I'm a child of God. Well, the Antichrist comes for you. So the, the wavering of your religious exemption is not going to work. It may work now for the you know what. It may work now for the scorpion bite. And it is working for some people. Some people giving their religious exemption to their company, to their boss, and they're okay. They're working with it. But there's going to come a time when, when that is going to be scrapped. Satan is going to take that away. So you will not have a religious exemption in, in Fifi. It's not going to work. It's not going to happen. You cannot go to them and say, I'm a child of God. No, because it's a lawlessness. And so now you're facing the must be or the guillotine for Christ. That's, that is going to be your choice. That's why you're going to be tried. And they're going to try you on the basis of your faith. And when you finish talking to them about the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth and they realize that you're not budging, that you're standing firm on your conviction of Christ, they're going to give you the guillotine. But watch this, brothers and sisters. That he may be tried and shall have tribulation ten days. Mm -hmm. Now, when he says ten days here, we're not well i'm not sure if the most i is talking about a physical 10 days or 10 days as in 10 months or i'm not sure so i'm still in um i'm still learning what the lord want me to say about this 10 days so i'm not going to comment on this 10 days i'm going to leave the 10 days for now until when the Lord give me the go ahead in my spirit, I will come back and we'll talk about the 10 days. All right. So he shall be, um, shall have tribulation 10 days. Watch this. Be thou faithful unto death. This is the reason why I'm on this channel, I will never lead anybody astray. Because this channel speaks the truth. That does say the Lord, that is it. Right? Biblical prophecy. Now, watch this. Be thou faithful unto death. What is it that's gonna cause a child of God when they go when they're thrown into prison? AKA fee fee, because that's what the Lord is talking about. When they're thrown into Fifi and tried for their faith, what is it that's going to cause them to die? Exactly, the mot be because they're going to refuse the mot be. It's not the you know what that's going on, but who is going oh, right now? How long have they got the um the you know what? When did they start the you know what? When did they start giving out the you know what? Is it twenty? 
21 February or March, something like that. So, you've got to understand, brothers and sisters, that when the Mott B is in operation, there's no leeway. Like, there's no, all right, we'll give you a couple months to think of. No, no couple months. As When the, when the Mott B is rolled out, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> you understand? Like, yeah, you're going to know. So this is the reason why I'm saying to people that the you know what, the scorpion sting, it's not the mutt bee. Because if that was the mutt bee, I am telling you, many, you think you could be outside protesting. All these protesting all over the world. All these protesting all over the world. Do you think you could really be on the street protesting against the mutt bee? No, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen, brothers and sisters. So this is the reason why I have to be very, very clear and go by biblical scripture that the scorpion bite, aka the you know what, it is not the mock, sorry, it is not the mot B. It is not it. It is a precursor. It is very, very wicked, very, very dangerous. And you must stay away from it because it's got ramification it's got consequences so you should stay away but the thing but if that was if the you know what was the mutt be if it was the mutt be right now i would be in jail well yeah not not fi well fee fee would be open like you would know because there, there, there would not be any leeway for, for this thing. So we know that. Do you know what? It is not it. But when the mutt bees rolled out, it says, Jesus Christ said, Be thou faithful unto death. I wonder if you understand this little sentence that the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth has said. Why is the Most High Son, the Biblical Jesus, this is, listen to what I'm saying, because I want this to make sense to people. Listen to what I'm saying, what time is it? Why would the Biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth give you the inclination to take the, the, the scorpion bite, the you know what? If some of you, some Christian are saying, you know, the Lord tell me to take it and, and, and he will protect me. And what of you? So, so, so if you have already taken the scorpion bite, then, then, then this be the faithful unto death. Then this is not for you because as far as I'm concerned, you're, you're good to go. The beast is not going to come for you because you've taken what they want you to take. So, so you're fine. But it's not the Mott B. This that Christ is talking about is the Mott B. Be thou faithful. Be thou faithful. When they shove this thing into your faces and you've got no other options, you've got nowhere to go. Be thou faithful. When your families and friends are saying you're stupid, you're an idiot, you're gonna be you're gonna be killed by the demic that's going on because you're not taking the you know what. Jesus Christ of Nazareth is saying, stand your ground and be thou faithful. Be thou faithful, even unto death. Why unto death? Why did Jesus say unto unto death? Why? Why did he link? The mutt be to death because he knows this is what's coming. This is a choice that people are going to have to make. This is going to be your two choices in Fifi. When they catch you, if they're catching you and round you up, because how else are you going to get the mutt be? You're not going to voluntarily, those of you who are refusing, you're not going to voluntarily, you know, go and say, oh, here, here's my right arm. Give it to me. No. They're going to catch you. 
That's what the Lord is saying. They will cast you, cast you out of your will. You didn't, you're, you're not willing. You didn't make that will to go to Fifi. It's the wicked soldiers and the wicked police and the wicked enforcement who have been checked and become demonic with, along with their dogs and the drones. And some of these wicked smartphones and all of that, that's tracking you. Yes, Lord. Mm. Okay. The Lord, the Lord reveals something in my spirit as I'm talking. When I, when I mention tracking. Okay. All right. What time is it? All right. Let me see if I can. Um, okay. So let me come back with part two because I want people to, to digest what I'm saying. All right. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah, just like you know, all praises, all beautiful praises to the most high Yah who lives above the heavens. Yah eternal bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In Jesus Christ, precious holy name. Amen and amen. Let us say the benediction is Jude chapter one. We agree with the servant of the most high Yah, brother Jude, how he expresses our beautiful, our beautiful, beautiful, uncreated Yah is. Amen. If you got your Bibles, read with me. Jude 24 verse, Jude 1. 24 to 25 now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise god our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen and amen amen Bless